My name is Thomas Dow. I am the Tissue Collection Officer for Molecular Oncology here at Bart's Cancer Institute. My job is to go to clinic and meet patients, to consent them for our research studies and to collect samples from them. I then transport these samples, generally blood, urine and sometimes tissue from surgery, back to Bart's Cancer Institute for processing. It's particularly important to use human tissue in research um, because they are truly representative of the condition that we're trying to help. There's a lot of good work is done using cell lines, but eventually we have to actually get around to looking at the condition itself. And so collecting blood and urine and, and tissue from patients who have pancreatic cancer or some of the other pancreatic conditions is crucial so that our researchers can actually produce relevant research and data that can have a real effect going forward with our research. Find patients that I'd like to collect research samples from by going through clinic lists and looking at patient history. Once I've found a patient with a suitable diagnosis, I then make sure I meet them in clinic. Here, I have to explain the research project to them and ask them if they would like to take part in our research project. This is called informed consent. Once I've got the sample on ice, ideally I will go straight back to the lab with it. You've heard how Tom collects tissue from clinic, and now you can watch how Sophie processes it. Hi, my name is Sophie Ray, and I'm a research assistant in the pathology lab at Bart's Cancer Institute. After Tom collects the tissue samples from clinic, he brings them over to us for processing. I'm now going to demonstrate how we process tissue samples ready for research purposes. After collecting tissue samples from the hospital, Tom brings them over to us at the pathology lab for processing. The fixed tissue is either in liquid like this one or it may be frozen. Next we place the tissue into a cassette. Cassettes are then transferred to the waxing machine. This machine removes all the water from the tissue and replaces it with wax. This is then embedded into a solid wax block. The wax acts as a scaffold so that the tissue can then be cut into extremely thin slices while still retaining its unique structure. We use a microtome to cut into the wax block. By rotating the handle, the block meets the sharp blade and produces thin slices of wax embedded tissue. These slices are transferred over to a warm water bath and can be picked up onto microscope slides. We let these dry and then the slides go to Tanya and Tom for their research. Click on the video on the screen to watch part 4 of the virtual lab tour and watch how the tissue is used for research by Tanya.